Hello everyone. How are you going? Welcome back to another video. What is your Wi-Fi password? Is probably the most frequently asked question when guests come around, right? However, there is always a risk when you give out your Wi-Fi password. Host probably doesn't realize that revealing such kind of information could pose network security at risk. For example, a guest might accidentally download a malicious software or connect an already infected device to the network. Many types of malware are able to spread themselves over a local network. And if an infected device is connected to your Wi-Fi network, it will try to contaminate everything in its range. So in order to keep everything safe, a guest network can be set up. That is the topic of today's video. So what is a guest network? A guest network is a separate Wi-Fi network within your home or office network designed specifically for your temporary guests to use. It runs from the same router but works as an entirely separate Wi-Fi network, providing guests with internet access without giving them access to your main Wi-Fi network or devices connected to it. Basically, guest network is a separate access point in the router. It creates an isolated network that does not interfere with any internal networks that carry sensitive information. And by creating a separate network, you avoid giving out the password of your main network. You just tell them the guest network password. This way visitor devices cannot see or access other devices from the main network. Your main network stays safe behind a firewall that protects it from any unauthorized access or malicious attacks. And don't worry, it doesn't slow down your internet. Okay, now what are the reasons to set up a guest network? It prevents unauthorized users from accessing your main network. If someone gets into your main network, they could download illegal content, steal private data, track other users, infect your network with malware. Another big thing is that you can maintain separate sets of rules for your personal and guest network. For example, you can limit the bandwidth to your guests so they don't overload the network or download files illegally. In case something wrong is happening on a guest network, you can simply disconnect it without shutting down the whole Wi-Fi connection. Okay, now the most important part, how to set up a guest network on a router. Setting up a guest Wi-Fi network is similar on most routers, but details vary. First of all, log in to your router's admin page. Typically, you can do this by entering the IP address of your router into the browser which would be one of these in most cases. Once you are logged in, locate your router's guest network settings. Now from here, enable guest network and SSID network. Leave the third option disabled. Then give the guest network a name and choose security options. After that, select a password. Since this is not your primary network, it's usually best to have a simple password that guests can quickly remember and enter. You can even leave the password field blank. As a security measure, it should not be left blank. That's it. Save the settings when you are done. Now Wi-Fi router will broadcast two separate SSIDs, home Wi-Fi and guest Wi-Fi. So when you have guests at your home, you just tell them the guest Wi-Fi password and they would be able to access the internet but they won't be able to access or see other devices because both networks are separated from each other. It is also important to note that in some routers you can hide the SSID of your main network so that visitors will only see your guest network when they scan for Wi-Fi connections. Even some new routers can isolate guests from each other so they won't see each other on the network and someone with malicious intent won't be able to harm others. Okay, so in a nutshell, if anyone other than your close friends uses your Wi-Fi, it's a good idea to set up a guest network for them. Among other things, a guest network prevents visitors from accessing private resources and eating all your bandwidth. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.